Hi, this is Stephen Amon. Welcome to my exorcism.io series. Um, as I was learning early in my career, one of the things that I always wished for was to be able to watch more senior developers actually code and actually problem solve. I would be learning about things and wonder, is this, is this really how people use TDD day to day? Uh, I would see pristinely factored tutorial code and wonder, did these wonderful solutions and architectures, did they just, these just pour out of experienced developers' keyboards whole uh, like this, or is this, there's some messy process involved? So in this series, what I thought I would do is, is just work through the exercises on exorcism.io, uh, starting with the Ruby track. You'll be able to follow right along with my thought process and my particular red-green refactor approach. I'll explain decisions that I'm making along the way, and you'll see me get stumped. You'll see me look in the documentation. You'll see me Google um, and, and try to find the, the right solution. Uh, for, some, for some of these, the beginning ones are pretty simple, but uh, I, I'm gonna do it the way, that I, the way that I always do it, in my particularly rigid TDD fashion, where I start with just the, I used to call dumbing it out, just the simplest possible solution that could work first to get the tests to pass. And then once all the tests are passing, uh, I'll take a step back and I'll, I'll ask if the code can be more maintainable. Can it be friendlier to future me six months down the road when I've forgotten what this was? How hard is it gonna be for, for me to change this class or, um, or, to, or to add to it or, or something? It'll take me a long time to understand what's going on um, or you know, is, this, is, it, is it good the way it is? If that sounds useful to you, join me in the next video where I will work through the Hello World exercise. See you there.